Dude, the quick is that battery about to die though. Three, ah. two, one, go. What's up, everybody? My name is Michael Lee Murphy. This is Meta Game Minute, a weekly segment where we talk about something in board games I want to talk about. And one thing that has kind of got my mind going lately is action selection games. Now, I did a Meta Game Minute recently where. I came to the realization through uh, no pushing from other people at all that, hey, maybe Shakespeare is more of an action selection game, not really a worker placement game. Worker placement? Yeah, well, we, we will, we'll discuss that later. Uh, so it got, it got me thinking about action selection games and which ones, and I really appreciate when games do interesting twists on action selection, like maybe the way you determine what actions you have available to you and things, uh, and it, it's just got me going. So a couple games... Recently, that got me thinking about this. Was one was uh, we got to play Smartphone Inc. at uh, Dice Tower West, and you have these two like tablets or these two cardboard uh, rectangles, basically that you have to configure in a, a way with a couple of rules. You can't just lay them too flat on top of each other, and you can't have them not overlapping at all. And they just have different icons on them, and they're going to give you uh, resources and the ability to do different things in the turn, depending on how. You configure and you can flip them and do all sorts of stuff uh, and you decide what you're going to do in that round. And I was like, that's fascinating. It's just this fun little puzzle you're doing. You can get add-ons for it and stuff and make it weird. And it just helps determine what you can do during that turn. Another game um, that we that we have and have played uh, is Wendake. And you have this like three by three grid. It makes kind of like a little tic-tac-toe. And you choose different actions in a row column or along a diagonal to to do and then you flip those tiles over you slide the bottom row down put it back in the top refresh things and then work your way down so on the next round certain things that you use last round but haven't gone off of the board yet are unavailable or rather they have like a generic action that you can do and so it's just another fun interesting like oh, if i do it this way this way this way or this way then bottom the middle uh, i can do these different things i'm like that's a fascinating way to do action selection so i want to know what are some action selection games that you really appreciate? And are there any games that really put a twist on action selection that you uh, had never seen before that really work? Um, I, I want to know because I just, I really can appreciate when they give you a different way to think about how you want to conduct your turn. It's not just you have these four actions, you're going to do them one, two, three, four, which can be fine. I like where you can like literally configure and make things maybe into a turn that you want. So that's all I got for you this week. It's real short and simple. Action selection games, what do you got? Put them in the comments below and start sharing this video around so we can get everybody's opinion on action selection. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for being here. If you're new to us, I'm Mike of the Brothers Murph. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications every time we have a video, which is quite often. All right, folks, that's it for me. We'll see you. And uh, however metagame minute ends is how I'm ending it. And this is how it's, it's done. Just remember, the more meta, the more better. <laughs>How's it going? Just want to let you know that we are sponsored by Restoration Games. Restoration Games make wonderful, wonderful games from the past and restore them for you. And everything we film, everything we play is on top of Game Toppers, which is a really wonderful way to upgrade your gaming experience. Go check out Restoration Games and Game Toppers LLC for more information. All right, cool. I feel like I need that one. Ow. Okay. Nick! What is it, big face, disheveled Nick? Nick, I want to let you know I really like French toast. Cool. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. Nick. Yeah. Get rid of Mike. What? What? Why would you say that?